All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. And also, I get back on track of these, like, recording them in the day, but I haven't because it's now 9 p.m. and that's when I'm recording this. So, yep, not really kept with my uh, promise there. If you didn't see the last episode, though, we took on LOSC Lille in the second leg of the Europa League round of 16. We got a 5 1 victory on top of our 2 0 at home, which means we are now through 7 1. On aggregate, in case you haven't worked that out, in case your minds needed telling. Which means we have advanced to the next round. And if you haven't seen who we take on in the next round, bear with me, I will show you. I could have just done this on calendar, actually, I didn't realise. But anyway, I will show you. Might be a team you want me to face, but I am against them. It's my very own favourite team, Manchester United. And I am bricking it, if I'm being honest. I don't think we're going to make it past the quarterfinals again. Like last year, we lost to Lazio in the quarterfinals this year. It might be our own favourite team, or my own favourite team anyway. It might not be your guys' favourite team that could take us out. But before then, we've got a game against Aston Villa and then some other league games I think to come up. I don't think we're playing those till mid-April. And the current problem is, stamina is at an all-time low. The one good thing is, and there is a good part of this. Where's Hill? Hill is there. One good thing is, we've got a 12 or 13 day break after this, which means we can have a rest and relaxation session for the team. Some of them will be away on international duty, the rest can just like chill. I want to keep Lasha Khan because he got a hat trick. I'm going to do that and bring on Haaland as a super sub. But yeah, stamina is not the best right now. We just have to try and work with what we've got, I think. I reckon we've got all bases covered. We need a fullback, Mamasaka. Um, oh, wide midfield, we've got Dembele. Alright, I think we're set. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, so I can either play left back or centre back, which is decent. I think this is what we're going to have to start with. We could bring a Nisimov on. Tev Yuri. I think we're going to do that. Um, yeah, we'll have to see where we go with this. But Stamina is going to be at an all-time low. Hopefully we can still get past Aston Villa. I don't know where they are in the league. I'll have a quick little look and we'll go and look at the news. We are now in ninth because we've fallen a little bit behind. Behind West Ham anyway. Because we've been playing Europa League and they haven't. So they've got a bit of... Uh, little lead on us, but we can easily close that. We just need to win our next two games. And we go back up to eight. I don't think we're going to get top four. I think it's coming less and less possible the more and more I look at it. But if we can do it for Europa League, we might be able to like secure our job. Aston Villa are in 15th. So I'm hoping this will be a... Maybe not an easy game, but maybe a game I should win. Anyway, we are here. Bradford are through. We'll read this quickly before we go in. Whenever it wants to come up. After winning both ties against LSC, Lille Bradford always looks to be a class above their opponents. And they're away to the next round. And uh, Hoshik got a hat-trick over Lille. Hoshik scored the last goal of the match and completed his hat-trick to help his team seal away a 5-1 win against Lille. So decent, decent, decent. Chile snubbed by Johnson. We did have a international management offer from Chile, but we're not... Accepting those, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to accept one now. We're getting towards in the career mode. If it happened, it would have happened maybe around 2022, 2023 kind of area, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, those kits look, uh, look okay. We could probably work with those. We'll go with those. It's, we might as well just put ball on. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, this is a team we're going to roll with. Hopefully, it will do the trick. Lafont and Gola, Kiwi and Hill as the fullbacks. Militao and Kanate as the centre backs. Carbonero left mid, Sancho right mid, Kutcher and Greenwood the centre mid, Greenwood of course the captain, and then Yota and Hlasek up front. I know Hlasek is exhausted, but the only reason I'm starting him is because he got a hat trick in the last game. I want to see if he can continue that fine form. If not, I'll bring him off for Haaland, obviously. But we'll see, see how the stamina works out in this game. But without any further ado, let's get into it. I've been playing games literally dead ass all day since about two, I think, or one maybe. So, it's now nine, if you think about that. I think about six of those hours have been Fortnite. I've just been grinding now. It's been a lot of fun. I've got loads of wins today, so I'm happy with that. But I think I'm going to go straight off after this, because I have a headache. But I have to do this, as it's a daily thing. I don't really have to do it, but I'm going to. Put that in top ins. That's, yeah. Top ins. Yeah, okay. This Aston Villa goalkeeper might be a problem. Upon first glance here. But we're back at the Valley Parade. 
after the home fans saw an amazing 5-1 win, well, yeah, win against Lille in the second leg of the Europa League. We've now got a tired team, but an inspired team to take on Aston Villa. Will we see victory or will we see a shock loss and a win for a lower team in the table? We should be quite a good team. From what I remember playing last time, I think it was actually quite close. Well, you never quite know who's right, the player to watch, of course, Adam Plotschek getting a hat-trick against Lille in the second leg of the round 16 fella. of the Europa League. What do you think we'll, see from him? will he be able to put any away today? I don't know. We'll see. But the form he's in, I wouldn't put it past him. his stamina really more than anything. Shaking hands with the Villa boys. Will we be... Victorious, possible. That goalkeeper looks pretty good for what we uh, tried to get some in training, but the shots that we were trying to get training weren't exactly difficult to save. Now we've got the fought back in there after the two impressive forces by Henderson. We've got the back four of Hill, Kanati, Motaro, Kimi, Sancho, Greenwood, Kutri, Carbonero in the midfield, and Oshik and Yota up front. But yep, Anderson having a good little spell against Lille. May start against Man United if he's lucky. We'll see what goes on. Arbeleda, Mulder, Kemp, Fernandez, and Mings. O'Hare, Nakamba, and Jensen. And then Van Bergen, Cordova, and Teresa Gay. So it's still got quite a few players who start at Aston Villa. We've got El Ghazi on the bench as well. Possibly some options on the bench if it doesn't work with our starting eleven. But we kicked it off here at the Valley Parade. It's weird to see not one Basaka on the uh, the right back in the right back spot, I should say. But it's of course because one Basaka is tired. If it goes too badly, we can bring one Basaka on. I think it should be okay. Possibly, I hope. Yeah. Okay, they're passing it around quite nicely to begin with. Making, taking advantage of our uh, tiredness. Carbonero covering because Akimi is some, somewhere down in centre defence. That's a foul. Could be yellow straight away for uh, Van Bergen. Yeah. Of course, the Bradford fans are chatting off because we are. What's the word? Biased. Does it mean that we are. I don't know what I was going to say. Basically, at the end of the day, I don't know. <laughs> I've lost, I've lost my point. My head hurts. To be honest, I wouldn't have done this if it was like a, uh, another day, like maybe Sunday. But I've got a schedule now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, double Saturday, no Sunday. Getting towards the end of the career mode, I think I could slow some of the uploads down a bit, which is why I'm free break on Sunday. Lost check, my dude. I wasn't in for you, so I don't know why you're even there. Also, why are you there? You're not in the right wing anymore. Van Bergen couldn't control. I'm going to go for more of a try and scrap this win more than a we should win this easily because of the stamina. I'm not going to go all out balls to the wall like we did against Lille. You can hear the wind blowing. I apologise. I've got a window open because I'm boiling. Lafont sent towards Ketchu. It surprisingly does seem to whip out a lot of those balls in the air. That's not who I am for. That's okay. That's also it's not where. Well, it is who I am for, but not where I am. It. Uh, Mitch in my face. So it's probably not going to be good. Oh no. Okay. They oh, they haven't fucked it. Oh, they have fucked it. The header. I think I ended that oh, right play for them. I don't know what Ketchu is doing there in terms of control of the ball, but it's okay. Anyone gonna run? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll make him run. <laughs> it won't work because Mulder's gonna get there first. But you know. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this one. To be real with you. Um, really hoping. Okay, really hoping Akimi would keep this man. Really hoping Lafon after the break might actually have you know some kind of skill level in the net. But obviously, well, neither of those happened. I don't know what Kanate was doing so either. A good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Either should have been blocked or saved. It was neither. Lafon got a touch to it, but couldn't tip it around. 
Oh, best of starts. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Cordova opens the score in here at the Valley Parade. Now 1-0, Aston Villa, come on, lads. I know we're all tired. I know we're waiting for this international break to refuel, but, like, please. Sancho. The Greenwood. Who's going to lose it? Yep. Hill regains it, though. Loshek. Can we send it through to Yotta? We can. Can we send him around his man? We can. Can we score? We can't. Greenwood. No, nope. can't get ahead of Thought we had the equaliser there, but it's a good save. Get you. I fucking fully dragged that back there. I don't know why it hasn't registered it, my dude. No, I can use oh, No, 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 no. Van Bergen's being problem, child. Thank you, can I say. How is Akimi not winning this more often, dude? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I did. Absolutely no power pass to uh, Carbonara. How did it know? Like, it was fully aware of what I was trying to do there. It's crazy. He could pick out a teammate. I'm trying to stop the cross from coming in. We have. It's half cleared, but I feel like it's still going to score from it anyway. Even when Kutchu... You know what, fuck this. Get out of here. I don't trust it. I know Sancho won't make it there, but I just don't want it near our area anymore. I just don't trust. Kutchu, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> lovely job, Lee. I was wanting to pass it off for so long, but Kutcher controlled it. Eh. The control was not the greatest, but it's in the back of the net, which is all we care about. We've well, equalised we here at the Valley Parade. Kutcher so uh, touched that a bit better. I could have laid off to Yotta, but I went for it and I scored it. A chance to revisit the goal. All of my favourite YouTubers are putting out videos, and it's really... But I really want to go watch them, but... Well, the I've got to put out my own video first. Anywho, Kutchu. Only three goals in the Premier League, but he's helped us there. I appreciate that from him. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can get a second here, and maybe then can relax a little. With it. Akimi needs to keep Still on this man. Like, it's, oh, it's not even Van Bergen's Mulder. Well, Akimi needs to keep on whoever's running through there because that's ridiculous that he gets so much room on that side. Militao can bring it away. He's given us away. Brother! Nice one by Greenwood. Get you. Fucking. Are you actually kidding me? A sloppy pass. How soft do I. This is getting me on a joke. How soft do I actually have to play it in order for it to work, huh? An important interception. Hill intercepts onto Sancho. He's got a bit of running room here. And there's one thing you don't give Sancho. It's a bit of running room. Jota. Back to Sancho. Through to Hoshek perhaps. Onside a thing. Uh, shot on his weak foot though. Which is not what you want. Although he did score on his weak foot. Pretty sure he's Lille. But it's not a point. The point is if we try and get on his strong foot. It would be better. we get that? Yes. I think. Greenwood just fighting for this. Even though he's exhausted. And that's what you like to see from your players, even if they do lose it out. <laughs> Don't let real. him through, Hakimi. Nice. Well, for now, anyway. I think that's offside. It's not offside. Oh, okay. Well, shows my eyes are useless. Sancho is running out of this. I don't think he's going to win it, though. He's tried, to be fair. Thank you, Alan McAnally. 38 minutes played in this half, 7 minutes left to go in the first half anyway. Kanate can bring it away. We've actually got a good defence. The keeper I worry about. Vlasek. <laughs> out to Sancho. Can we send through Yota? We can. Will he score it? He won't. It's not where I aimed it anyway, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, is that not, would that not constitute the back pass? It's not. Greenwood is absolutely exhausted and this guy's actually on the pitch. Are you kidding me? Hakimi, come on bro. Not to be fair, Van Bergen doesn't go right and keep it on the pitch. Fuck the pass though, Militao can bring it away. Like I said, it's going to be more of a scrappy encounter than an actual, uh, we're going to win this by a long way encounter. 
Hoshek. Need an option here. Greenwood's making... Oh, Alvin Greenwood's making moves despite the fact he's got no stamina left. That's really big of him. Oh, can't get it across. So I should have RP'd it. Get you. Sancho. Oh, bugger it. Right, I'll try this shot. <laughs> We're not going to get another one before half time. They're, all, they're too far back in their own half. Well, let's go ahead with one all at half time, I think. And try, I don't know, to be honest. I was hoping we'd be winning. But it hasn't been that way. They're probably going to promote their player. Oh no. So they at the office for Flashek. Lovely. Why don't we just look at the positives? Kirchhoff he's scored. At all. Lack of movement for me is the key. He's got to do better. I mean, to be fair, Flashek is exhausted. All right, give him a break. They're probably going to bring on Haaland at some point very, very soon. I think we can come off at half time. Um, let's see. Chelsea and Bournemouth are yet to play. Fulham are beating Wolves 1-0. Manchester United are beating Brentford 1-0. And Southampton is drawing one all with Newcastle. Newcastle could pull off something there. That would be nice. Probably won't matter in the long term, but... Never know. Um, five shots with four on target for ourselves with 47% possession. Two shots with two on target for Aston Villa with 53% possession. It's quite a close one, which I did expect due to the stamina being absolutely garbage. Uh, we'll bring our Nisimov. Leave Flushek for a little bit, as well as Kanate and Militao. One of them's going to have to just play the full 90 and grin and bear it. If Mechanic can only play for one of them. <laughs> but we have brought on... Um, oh my god, my memory's awful. We brought on Nisimov at half time for Greenwood. Defended. Militao once again. Coming. One of my best ever defenders in a career mode. Oh, you've got to be joking. It's not where I passed it. So just to... You know. Just, just so you know, I guess. Oh, okay. I thought I'd gone in past Lafon. I think I might be mad. It was a good little cross. Militao couldn't get to his man. Luckily, it's wide. And we breathe a breath of fresh air. We sigh. Uh, have a sigh of relief. And we build. So it's possibly getting the second goal for ourselves. Boschek can win the ball here. Doesn't somehow. I don't know. Okay. Physics probably dictates. I should have won that, but it's. So, right. When does physics ever matter on FIFA? An easy mark to coach you. Boschek. Do we get Yotta on the side here? I don't think we can. Boschek. You can't, bro. Why are you still running? Stop when I'm turning to look at you. Uh, it's hard enough with no stamina. Are you kidding me? Why is our defence opened up like a fucking great, like the Red Sea, my dude? Oh, nice save by the corner. Uh, it's going to be a difficult second shot, half, I can already tell. Nakamba. It was fizzing, but it wasn't going to go in, I don't think. Unless the font would have a nightmare. Van Bergen. Short to catch you. I'm not sure why he's done that for, like, it's an easy clearance, in my opinion. I don't know if it's going to make it to Yotta, but at like, least we've got it away from now. I suppose next match, Arsenal. Not an easy one. And again, this shouldn't be an easy one either, and it only is because of the stamina issues we are dealing with, apparently. Header away, just about. Get it clear. Get it out of here. That's not... No, that's not... Okay, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Away. We're holding on. He has plenty of support. On the ball, Jensen. He's got to score. Well, he didn't Bro, if that rebound had gone in, you would volley. have no, hear me, heard me erupt. <sighs> switched off of Militao volley. after the first block, and I'm not sure why. It's like, yo, I'm just gonna, you know, do it. <laughs> Lafon, Pizzigui coming off for Claude Maurice. Try to keep as many players on as I can and work as much with what I've got. Stamina Monster Carbonero's not getting an inch of space on that left hand side. Blaschek. Yota, I was actually meant for Anisimov, but we know what passing's like if FIFA 20 just doesn't go the way you want. And Hill is blind. And I've committed him. Oh, bro. Oh, <laughs> Hill, can you and get your... I know you're not the fastest man in the world, but can you at least attempt? Luckily, he's dribbled off the pitch. I think that's where we're going to make our substitutions if I have to make any more. Kutcher is exhausted. Militao's exhausted. Kanate's exhausted.
I think I'm going to have to take both centre backs off against against my will, really. But I'm going to have to. I need defence that can. I need a defence that's actually got energy. The other ones can. Everyone else should be. Um, I don't know. Sancho might have to. You know. I don't know. Try a bit harder than everyone else. But we have to make two centre backs. Like substitutions. I don't think we can really do anything else there. York 7 up and Meccano coming on from Militao and Canate. I didn't really want to bring Militao off because he's been a solid rock today, as usual. But at some point, he's going to like get injured if I don't. So, Carbonara into Kirchhoff. I wanted to bring on Haaland. Flushek is not making any movement. And probably because of stamina. And probably because they're very defensive. Very good mix of both, to be honest. Carbonero's going to go out to the lefty. Why have we got two? Why have you got two? Okay, I see. I understand. Ah, oh, thank God. Now I understand why they've got two on the right now because you know Akeem's tired. Um, luckily, Lafont missing the save there also resulted in them missing the shot. Canberra almost putting Villa two one up. We need to sneak a fucking winner here at some point, realistically. I don't know how we're going to do it with two tired. Well, one tired striker, one striker who's trying to make the runs but can't. Because they're Could marking you? him like, I don't know, the plague. Yota. Flashek. That's what I mean, bro. Like, they're on me like the plague. Carbonero. And Isimov. That's Carbonero. Stamina machine. Box. On the edge of the box. Kirchhoff, you've got and to be fucking kidding, fucking kidding me. Get ready to receive that. Yotasev, nice. Isimov. Kirchhoff. Kirchhoff. Well, they must exercise caution. And Isimov, not Sancho. meant for Sancho, and now so I'm a bit confused well, at where I want to play this, because I was actually trying to get through to Yota, but of course, it didn't go the right way. Maurice. Nope. As a team. Okay, maybe. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, I've decided not. Fucking Christ! These that. through balls are just Clarify, ridiculous, bro. I'm not putting a lot of power on them. They're just like, yo. Go go travel and not stop. Nice, 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 nice. That works, I guess. I need Carbonero to just like bomb down that wing and he's just not for it today. Plus they're marking him like a fucking... What is this defending by Aston Villa? Kirchhoff, please. Yes! Oh my god! Patience pays off. Kirchhoff's like, I'm fucking sick of this. I'm going through. Well, here it is again. It looks like hey, Orkin Kirchhoff. Orkin Kirchhoff. I don't know how to pronounce goal, it. He He's got two target. anyway today. I'm honestly surprised that we uh, are winning, to be honest, with our stamina and the fact that they've pressed us the whole second half and sat back so bloody much at the same time. But. The game is not over yet. Not by a long shot. And Hill is not going to get to Clummery here. Up, so it's a problem. Nice to get it away it. though. Sancho. Anisimov. Virtue. He could get a hat-trick but I don't really want to push for that. I just want to make sure we win. Losik's exhausted. It switched off Carbonero when I want to be on him. That sounds really dirty. I mean, it's something like that. Jensen. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Hmm. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Okay, luckily it's gone over, but it's still the other side, and it's still very crossable. Magnificent defense. Just clear it. Just clear it. Just clear it. Yes, 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 yes. yes that works. Does a trick. No, anyway. Nakamba. Fine. And a goal kick. Oh, we won the goal kickoff of it. I thought it was a corner. I was like, fine, have a corner. We've got three and a half minutes. In order to not let it slip. Lafont just going to absolutely boot it. I don't even care, to be honest, at this point. We're like... He's protecting it well. Yota, able to hold on to it. I'm very surprised, actually. I did try and pass it off three times. It's not registered until then. Okay, that's not where he aimed it, my dude. Urgh. Now you're out of If Meccano. Hill. I think we've got it. In the, I, I, well, I'm actually not going to say it too soon. This game has fucked me over before if I said that. Carbonero. Yota. Oh, yep. 
First touch of an actual mule. No, no, no. Don't break now, no. My dude, he's offside. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, if he's not offside, then he's done a very good job of disguising himself. Yeah, way off. And we should be able to hold on. I'm just going to absolutely yeet this across the pitch, and I don't give a fuck. Oh, we've just about done it here. I knew it wasn't going to be pretty, but I really hoped it wouldn't be this close. Send it, my dude. Send it. Straight to Arboleda. And there's the full-time whistle. Just holding on. And the players of Bradford City will have a 12-day break unless they're doing international duty. Then they'll have to play a couple of friendlies. But hopefully they'll come back with a decent amount of fitness. Well, his performance in this particular Kurt Hughes saving us. Many Surprised he was well, the one who scored both goals. I wouldn't mind. Oh, like, I'd be inclined to see him score one. But he's got both of them. And he's won us the game, to be honest. Right. No I probably won't percent. actually even base the title around him, to be honest. I'll probably base it around something to do with the stamina we had. But anyway... Full time at the Viper Raid, Bradford City 2, Aston Villa 1. Don't know if it should have been that way, but that's the way it ended. 6 shots for 5 on target, 47% possession. They had 5, uh, sorry, 7 shots on target. Let me start that <laughs> 6 shots with 5 on target for ourselves, 47% possession. They had 7 shots with 3 on target, 53% possession. Jesus Christ, why did I struggle so much? Kurt Chiu, man of the match with a 9.2. Can't actually be argued at all, one singular bit. Eight for Carbonero as well. Everyone else just getting around seven areas. It's not, it's not too bad. Everyone was exhausted. I don't mind a couple of bad ratings. 8.2 for Cordova. Give him Aston Villa's best player of the game. No one else really standing out otherwise. And we get the win and we move on to the post-match interview. Two one to Fulham, two 0 to United, and two all between Newcastle and Southampton. I would have liked that Newcastle to get a straight win, but. It slows them down. I don't think we're going to catch up, but it does slow them down. Of course, Southampton are on the same amount of games as us played because they were in the Europa League as well, and they still are. They're in the quarterfinals. I can't remember who they're against offhand, but they're in the quarterfinals. Just a moment of your time. Okay. So it goes secure win. Coach, was here today. Any thoughts? Maybe I should play him more when he asks. Uh, impressive performance with Kirchhoff, very impressed with the way Kirchhoff played today. It was a world-class performance. I do. You managed to win the close match with the size of goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, time to focus on our next match. We have full value for the win today. I'm not really interested in dissecting this performance. We already have our sights set in our next match. It's the best answer I could give there because, to be honest, the other ones wouldn't have made sense. You've won by only one goal. Was Aston Villa an opponent widely considered weaker, difficult to beat in the end? I think on a day when my players have the stamina, um, yeah, we probably win that no problem. But it was a good match. Aston Villa played very well. Full credit to them. We'll take the win and move on. Yeah, no further questions. Thanks. Right, we've got some monthly scouting updates from the lads. Have we got any good players coming in here? It doesn't look like it. Oliver Griffiths looks like trash. Brandon Lewis probably could have been okay, but nah. Brother Lee doesn't really have the overall. There's Lance Robinson. To be honest, none of these have the overall, really, that I'm looking for. So, nope. Sergey Galarkin with the one from Russia. Valery Baikov could either be make or break. Ivanov looks all right. Bro, he's in. No, no hesitation. And if he's old enough, he can go straight to the first team. I'll see why I shouldn't. Uh, from Rob in person, we've got the Swedish scout report. Fredriksson, Na, Anderson, Na, Sjöberg. Uh, nah, not really got the uh, overall for me. Uh, Lundberg could have been good, but he doesn't have the potential. And, yep. 
Let's take a look at this lad we just signed quickly before we head off ski for this episode of Career Mode. Youth Academy. Do got some good talents, but I think this is the one we just signed. Uh, was it? No, it was Baikov. He looks actually not too great if his potential is like 67 to 91. <laughs> if his potential... You know what, actually, fuck it, we'll just promote him. Yeah, we can't. Nothing to lose at this point. Good work on him. Maybe promote a couple of these and send them out on loan at the end of the season. I don't want the squad to get too full. But anyway, we'll go and do some training. And sim up to April, where we will end off the episode. Everyone's away on international duty. Or a lot of people are away. In fact, fucking hell, my whole midfield's away. And my whole strike force. Um... So youth players' chances to shine. Mm, I don't have any first-team players, really. Even coach has got a call-up, which I usually does, to be fair. Actually, I can't say even. He's actually quite a good player. Uh, please tell me you're going to actually have good potential and not be a fucking bag of shite. Mr. Baikov, I put a lot of money on you. Hakimi's the only one that's not got picked. Oh, no. Kanate and Nipamakana. How did they not get picked? Yeah, the countries aren't playing. I can only assume that's the case. I need he'll start, uh, start, uh, nah. God, yeah, English is a really difficult language. Please never learn it. Um, it's speed. All right, all you need to do, Baikov, was get a B or an A, and uh, you would have gone up and overall. But no, you're insistent on not doing that. Anyway, onwards to the land of April. You scout man for a port. I've already looked at him already, but we'll go for him again. Uh, Konstantinov looking nice. Bondarchuk looking decent. Uh, I could probably promote him, but I'll give him a little bit longer. Thomas ain't looking great, but we can loan him out. Martensen looking really positive. And Ilyushin. He probably could have stayed a bit longer and looked uh, a bit better, but I, just, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to... Do another bit of training before the next thing. It's lucky that the thing stopped there because I completely forgot that there was another time, another uh, chance to training. Everyone's back off international duty. I'm gonna let them recover. Oh, well, obviously, trim up some of them. Baikov going up to a 67. That's probably because we're moving to a new month. Um, big old scout report or squad report will be at the start of the next episode if I remember. Carbonero's dead ass so close to 96. Can we get him up? No. Are you kidding me? This guy deserves the world, honestly. He doesn't deserve to be second rank, but we've got so many good players now. I want to see him succeed here, though. I don't want to see him succeed anywhere else. He's my Carbonero, and I grew him from the ground. Pretty sure he was like 68 rated when we got him. I don't remember. You can go back and look at all the old episodes, see what rating it was, but he is... I don't know. There's so many... I'm just glad with how most of the players have grown anyway. Especially Kloshek. He has absolutely excelled himself. Where's Lushik? Is there? 88. At 22 years of age. He could easily. Bloody hell. I'm going to go through the financial stuff as well, actually. See which is who's worth it most. It'll probably still be Sancho, but... Bloody hell. Some of these players... I could get a lot of money for him, but... Because I like him so much, I don't really want to. Uh, Martinson doesn't really need training. He's probably okay now, actually. Should probably start to slot Martinson in a little bit more than I do, but... I don't know. We're coming to the tail end of the season. Maybe next season we'll give him a bit more. Or maybe send him out a lot. No. Well... I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. Uh, I shouldn't be because I don't know what plans I've got next season. Greenwood, I was low-key hoping I could get him to an 88, but not going to happen. How's no longer a potential player, which I think has been that way for a while, but still a very good player. And still one I would like to keep if I can. Fredrickson could hit a 78 here if he gets a good rank. And he gets a B, and he gets a 78. Beautiful. You are safe, my dude. <laughs> if you want to be the club, just say. Okay? Like, you don't have to be a prick. Some of these youth players are coming along really well, but to be fair, I don't think we're going to get a look in. <laughs> if I don't get sacked somehow by some miracle, then I will... Oh, I was about to read the fucking news, see who the player of the month shortlist was, but it's alright. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, if I don't get sacked and I actually complete the Champions League objective, I might keep playing this save off screen and maybe, I don't know, do a video... A year on in career mode or something. 
showing how much people have grown. This is how we're looking on the financial side of things. Sancho's has gone down a little bit, but he's still absolutely astronomical in value. Loshek is 91 million. Dembele's 82 million. Greenwood's 81.5 million. Carbonero's 75, to be fair. And to say we bought him for 820k, imagine if we did sell him, how much profit we would get. Our contract's looking, actually, is probably very good. Oh, Fredrickson's on uh, delegate renewal from him. Actually, but okay, right. We're gonna go into the negotiate the actual negotiation bit. Cause I'm no there's no way I'm giving a fringe player that much. <laughs> pretty much, like he's not getting that money. All right. But I didn't realize he was. I knew he was like low, but I completely forgot to actually sign him to a new one. I do want to keep him because he's going quite well. Uh, he'll probably be rotation if I'm being real. Sweet. He. Yep, that's fine. Three. Probably be done by three years. Hopefully, we'll be done by two. Ah, uh, no. Ah. Uh, I was 5k grab you, my dude. Sweet. Not a problem. He doesn't get a lot of time. 5k is a pretty solid wage. Maybe Hill and. Not Varenkov, actually. What's the lowest wage we've got at the club, actually? We've done a big financial stock take. Martensen, bro. He's going to need a new wage, but he's not asked for one. When he asks for one, I'll definitely offer him one. Uh, 1k, 1k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k, 6k. All right, sweet. Everything's looking juicy. And then the highest wage, of course, is, is my Dembele. I'm pretty sure he's getting like 250. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I don't know how I didn't get sacked for that, but there you go. But anyway, that's going to end another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. We had a good game, got a good win, and hopefully we can continue that momentum. And we might get it to fifth or sixth, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get fourth, which is unfortunate, but we can still try. All we can do is try. Getting the win low, doing a little bit of financial report. You guys can see who the best and worst players are in the team. And that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time when we go to the Amex to take on Brighton and Hove Albion.